said my husband to get some steak. He, oh, he gets stoopy. What are you going to do with these? Oxtails. And that was the price of it? Yeah. Right there. yeah. Right there. I'm about to show y'all what my husband got from the meat stuff. He got these sausage that he probably going to let go bad. Because he gets stuff and he don't really eat it. He got T-bone steak. He got this pack of oxtails and stew beef. He must have a taste for oxtails. Because this ain't enough oxtails to do at no uh, dinner. Don't tell me, Ma. <laughs> Kelly don't like what he she feel like. Babe, I'm not me. I'm not making trying to make you feel bad, but I'm just saying the pick. When you looked at these, remember when I said oxtail? We could probably do oxtail for the dinner, was? huh? How much steak was? Fifteen dollars. How much the oxtail was? Twenty five. Okay, it's fifteen. Twenty four. That's about thirty nine. Mm -hmm. All right. How much the um steak was? Eight dollars. For the stew beef. Okay. How much sauce is worth? Seven dollars. I think everything was about. I don't know if it's like a discount or whatever, but it's like fifty dollars. Okay. But what I'm saying is, I thought you was getting enough oxtails for tomorrow. Remember, we talked about it. That ain't enough for tomorrow. That gonna be for Sunday dinner. Have to be. Hey. You know. Yeah. I mean, you did a good job. No, you you did a good job. Plus. Come on, put the thing in here. Yeah, Y'all, I think these are sixteen dollars, but online they were more. The hot Cheetos, the hot um Doritos might be on the other side. Okay, go ahead. Come on, guys. Seasoning section, and we need some seasoning salt. Oh, the seasoning is called a 649 and accent. I've never seen pink salt before. You've never seen pink salt? Mm. Girl. Yeah. Pink mm -hmm. salt. Big oil is $17. Sam's is $11. So we're going with that. So let's go see if we can find the spaghetti noodles. Somebody got a spill, so we're gonna go around that. Oh, oh they got hot sauce. Walmart had the, the one for six dollars. Here at Sam's, you can get two for nine forty-eight. But I don't want to try it that bad. Oh, Callie, you don't quit. No, the macaroni. No, I wanted to. They have a, a pack that got variety. That's just macaroni. No. Noodles. That was like a Caesar fresh macaroni. No, I was trying to find the variety pack. They don't got that. I got yellow rice. Do I want yellow rice? They don't. I don't. I don't think I want yellow rice. You want yellow rice? <laughs> Here go the pack I'm talking about. See, this pack right here comes with the macaroni noodles. Come on, Callie, get one of these. The macaroni noodles, the spaghetti noodles, and the pini noodles. So, you're getting a whole variety. And this is a three pack of the Alfredo sauce. So, this just helps make meals easier. And I guess I'm gonna get this Prego. It's seven dollars. This big thing of Prego for three. Oh, um, look at this! I'm about to get this so we can try this tomorrow night. Look at that. And I know both of my sisters like Moscato, and me too. So we're gonna try this. You get the blue, the pink, and the gold. Oh, right. y'all know I like my family. I love my family. So these lamb chops are thirty dollars and twenty six cents for these little bit of lamb chops, but you get like two rolls. I'm making my own tomorrow, remember? Y'all, I made Callie some fried 
Oreos and I meant to video I thought I did a video showing y'all me making the shish kebabs and the rice um shrimp fried rice bowl but it was good y'all it was really good um I think I was just tired <laughs> after all of this um but the food came out good thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all on the next video have a wonderful weekend we're here at the grocery pickup that's why I look a little morning Cause uh, what? Oh, there goes people. That's quick. Run my way to the back. Hold on, y'all. Hello. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. That's quick. Anyway. You want the other thing? You want the other? Oh, excuse me. Over there, oh, by. Yeah. That's only we only. How many Dollar Trees they got here? Mm -hmm. One, two. I know of. I only know of two Dollar Trees. But anyway, I'm going to Dollar Tree now to get my pan. That lady jamming. She jamming her little CRB. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to get some pans from Dollar Tree, maybe some foil, to make sure I have enough. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I think those little trucks right there remind me of a hearse for some reason. But anyway, I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna head back to the house. Um, I cleaned yesterday, me and Shane, well, mostly me, but me and Shane, and um, I just want to steam out my floors, uh, mop my floors with some hot water, um, pass all in bleach, and then I'll be done. Oh, and spruce up the bathrooms, um, yeah, then I'll be really done. And, um, yeah, that's it. And then I don't even know what time everybody's coming over. It'll probably be, um, sometime this afternoon because Adonia's speaking, um, somewhere in Lake City. I wanted to make it, but my truck still is not fixed. So... I won't be making it to that. And my husband got some place to go. So. <laughs> and you still want to go to the other? Yes. You might want to stop. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, it's so crazy. The person that broke my truck down got his car on the road now. And ain't even asked me if I got places to go. And he done broke my dog on Troy down. And now he riding. Don't leave me. Gonna leave me? Can we say goof troop? Gonna leave me? No, baby. Why would I do that? Who a goof troop? That lady, you don't know that lady. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that lady. <laughs> you don't know that lady. You don't call her that. All right, y'all. I'm going in the dollar and 25 cents, though. I'll be right back. I was trying to tell y'all in the car when I was with Calvin, but I don't really remember if I got to finish. Um, so in my grocery haul, I was telling y'all, like I was saying little things, but I, I thought I cut it out, but I didn't actually. Um, but that was what I was feeling in that moment. But then after I reviewed it, I was like, no, I don't want nobody to think that I got like the worst, like my kids are like disrespectful, disrespectful. They not, but my 20 year old, I asked him to get the groceries the other day from the man to help the man who was delivering groceries. And he made a comment and he said, that's his job. Let him put the groceries in there. But I wanted my sons to go to the car and help the man because it was 300 and something dollars worth of groceries, which my middle son, Shane, the tall one, he ain't complaining. But the oldest one, he, he was the one who said, that's his job. Let him do it. And that teed me off because I'm like, 
this man is bring, delivering groceries, even though it's his job, he was struggling to get these three cases of water. So I just wanted to get him some assistance, but because they were here and these groceries are for them to eat, y'all can go help him. So that was that whole situation about why I was like, when I had the soda, I shouldn't have ordered this. Yeah, but it was in that moment, you know? And I have my moments where I get irritated and I do get irritated about stuff like that when I'm having to purchase groceries and I'm making sure y'all eat. If I ask you to do something, I don't care how old you are, just do it, please. And, you know, it may not always be right because, but I feel like as a parent, as my mom, my mom, I'm 37 my mama asked me to do anything. I'm not gonna give her no lip. No matter how, no matter how old I am, I'm just gonna oh. say yes, ma'am, and get it done. Yes, baby. Mm. What? That was what that was about. And it wasn't no big deal, but that's why in the video I said I don't be disrespected by y'all enough today, which wasn't really disrespected. He wasn't. He was just saying in general it's his the man's job which it was a lot of stuff it was but if you gonna eat the stuff the least you can do is help bring it in and then help at least put it on the counter and not just drop it in my office so that's what that was about it wasn't no big deal i was having a complex day at work um my manager did quit so it's like <laughs> People are quitting. They did a big layoff. There's so many changes at the job now. We really don't have a manager. Like we don't have nobody to go through, go to when we got issues that's going on now. So it's stressful. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna leave the company and um, get another job and this, that, and the third. So it's like in that moment that day i was frustrated about so many different things and it was like you look cute why you got my crocs on hey guys bye guys <laughs> really but anyway so that's where i was at with that you supposed to gently take that bonnet off if you want to keep your hair together now you got to get the comb and comb it up and put a little bit of jam on it. Um, I perm Kelly hair last night and the hairstyle I wanted to do to her hair, I realized that I left my flat iron at the other house. Um, because Callie be bothering my stuff. And instead of it being in my hair basket, it was on her 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 desk, which we still gotta bring over. Did Hello Fresh help? Went on there, paid for a monthly uh, subscription or whatever. But y'all, after I paid, that I don't like that part. They make you pay first, then they give you the meals for the week. Okay, so selecting my meals for the week, none of the meals that they had looked like anything that I wanted to put in my mouth to eat. And I'm just being real. I've tried HelloFresh before, and the last time I had good options. Like, we had quesadillas, which, huh? They were good. I did the family plan last time, and I did quesadillas, and they were good. I did these burgers, like water burger type things, where it had the grilled onions and the home cooked fries and the grass fed burgers, and they look they were delicious. And yeah, so I did those. Um, last time, but this time the options they were giving me like jackfruit um, thing, and I I asked the late I had to end up calling. I said, "Well, ma'am, is it because I selected to get um, a certain type of choice of food? Like, did I select something? Because all of these meals don't look like nothing I would eat. Nothing I would put in my mouth. Like the jackfruit thing just did not look right." Well, I've never tried jackfruit, and I don't want to try when I'm spending that much money on a subscription. That ain't the time to just try anything. 
that option they gave me and something with some um carrot fries with uh some kind of beef i i didn't want it it was only like five options and pork spaghetti like i don't want no pork spaghetti and i guess it was like pork sausage spaghetti and i'm like no i mean if I'm spending this much on a subscription, I got, I bought spaghetti stuff last night. I can make my own spaghetti at the house if I'm eating spaghetti. So, I called. She said that there was nothing they can do. They have weekly meal plans. So, then she did send me an email of stuff that, stuff that I could substitute it. So, I did get the Wonder Burger, which looked good. Um, like I said, we tried the burger before and it was pretty good. And I got cashew tacos, um, pork cashew tacos. Um, I definitely won't be eating the cashews on the tacos. I pulled them off. But that was the only choice that I had. And also, what else did I order? Oh, crusted chicken, pecan, pecan, excuse me, pecan crusted chicken. And, um... That didn't sound like nothing I want. I gotta take this stuff from my acid reflex because I feel it flaring. What you doing? Getting your stuff from baby here? Look, oh, look. You're lucky. Got killed, boo. Do it. So, I'm about to um, take this Xantex. I don't need flat. You did what? So, this is Zantec that I have to take for my little acid reflex. And I feel it when I start feeling the bubbles come here. Then I know, yeah, I need. Yeah, I know the cold water in my room, so. So, anyway, that's enough. I'm just telling y'all my backstory to my day because. I want y'all to be confused. I'm like, my day was a doozy. And it was. But, like I said, I felt bad. And I ended up giving the people a... Uh, Callie, you heard them just do this delivery order? I did a pickup this morning. And then got home and realized I only had this much. And this was not going to be enough for my, um, my lamb chop meal. Then I went to Dollar Tree and got three pans and then realized, like, what you putting your meat in, sis? Um, well, these pans are going to be too big to put the meat in because the meat ain't even that big. Then I realized I didn't have cream of mushroom that I needed to go in the sauce that I do my oxtails because I wasn't planning on making oxtails. But the lamb chops, they so little I want, I want my family to be full. I don't want them to be like, oh, shiny and Tammy here getting a little something. Y'all, she cried about this ponytail yesterday. She did not want this ponytail yesterday. She done did her little baby hair on this little ponytail. She wanted her little poof ball ponytail. And I said, oh, no, ma'am. Oh, you got to comb it up some more because you just got glides of the jam, baby. A yeah. yeah I will. That's something. I want to do a shout out to Brittany. Life is Brittany's channel, y'all. Hey, wait a minute. Sorry, y'all. You be the head of music. Copyright me. Sorry, guys. Um, Life is Brittany channel. Y'all go subscribe to her. She's so sweet and um i love 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 how she supports so many ladies she give out free shout outs um and i think it's so cool because you have no you don't need a heavy go subscribe if you like um motherhood vlogs and um just she does grocery hauls she did a clothing haul last night that i watched um yes yeah, so i really like watching her channel um just doris i shot her out before too but y'all go subscribe to her channel also um um i'm gonna tell y'all miss angel i'm going to i'm gonna put it right here y'all go subscribe to her channel um she's she does 
hauls. Uh, she does vlogs, y'all. These are small YouTubers. Um, Brittany, she she has a good bit of following, like more than me. But um, Miss Jess Stories, y'all help help her out. Um, you will enjoy her vlogs. Like I actually enjoy her vlogs with her, her husband, her daughter. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a shout out video um coming soon like i said y'all i've always been the type that love to support people i love to um give shout outs when i when i think about them um or if it's somebody i want like you got people who they will go over and beyond to not shout somebody channel out um, even if they saw something on that person channel and they got the idea and you go back and you watch their videos and they doing the same thing that the other person did or shopping at the same stores that the other people shopped at and they will not mention that person name on purpose. Um, and I think it's just crazy to me. Like, why not support people? Somebody had to support you and share you um, for you to be able to and share your videos for you to be able to um, grow. So, and I'm thankful for all of my subscribers. So, this is not a rant. This is just something to genuinely say that I love the fact that Brittany supports so many women and give out shout outs um, without asking for anything. Um, because you do have people who charge for shout outs and stuff like that. So, I just love that about her. That, that shows you her genuine um, side.